Hey Gemini, what's up guys? I hope everybody is well. So we're gonna go ahead and do a what's going to surprise you next reading. If that's something that interests you, go ahead and stick around. Gemini, if you are new to this channel, welcome. My name is Jessica. Please take a look at my description box because that's gonna have any information that you would need to know. And yes, this is a Gemini channel. However, if you vibe your tribe, so go ahead and make yourself comfortable. Gemini, if you are returning, welcome back. I hope that you're well. Hope you're taking care of yourself. I do hope that you're doing what's best for you. Thank you for all the love, all the support. Gemini, thank you so much for all the good vibes. It really does mean the world, okay? All right, guys, let's go ahead and get into this. So you could have been experiencing some sadness here recently. There could have been a disruption or there could have been a sudden change on your path, maybe. Yeah, look, stop just came out. You might have been told to stop in regards to something and it's almost like you didn't want to maybe this was a decision that you had to make but i feel like something was you were being protected here gemini so if you recently had to stop something you had to walk away from something you had to use your intuition something might have looked okay on paper or something like that but it just wasn't feeling right inside of you um, yeah, it's like it brought you some kind of sadness here. So what's going to surprise you next? There could be something that's opening up for you. That's what I heard when um, I pulled that card. That's the roses in bloom, guys. So you know, that can definitely talk about love coming your way. That can talk about um, something that is like divine timing has happened here and it's something is ready, okay? Maybe something wasn't open or something that wasn't available to you, now it is. So what's going to surprise you is that something's going to work out in your favor here soon or some the road is going to open up, a path is going to open up, the way is going to clear, something's going to come into bloom here. For some of you, I'm getting like a romantic gesture that's kind of going to surprise you or shock you. I mean, obviously, this is what's going to surprise you next, but I feel like there's something, it is going to shock you though, like whoever this is from, okay? Maybe you surrendered this and you didn't think there was going to be any more movement. Something that you did surrender, Gemini, there is going to be movement regardless. Whether this is love, money, a situation. Um, it's like maybe you were chasing after something or pursuing something or putting a lot of energy into something. And then you went, eh, I'm not, I'm not worried about it anymore. Um, it'll happen when it happens, right? Surrender, divine timing. And something is suddenly opening up here. So let's see. Let's get some color prism cards out here. For what's surprising Gemini next, we have Illumination coming out with Stop. So Gemini, you are going to find out exactly why you were told to stop, why you were told to go in a different direction, why you were told to pause, why you were told to, excuse me, give up on something and move forward. We have the Reflection card here. There's going to be Reflection about that too. I feel like for some of you guys, you're going to feel very pleased that you listen to your intuition okay something is going to be illuminated to you even if it wasn't like there was something nefarious or there was something bad maybe you were told to go in a different direction maybe you wanted a job you were told to you know sorry i had an incident over here guys so if you see me do that i'm ashing it <laughs> um you were told to give up on something that you know maybe there was nothing there that was really like animosity wise or nothing wrong with it per se maybe something better is coming in or something more in alignment for you is coming in and you're gonna be very thankful in any regard i feel like you're getting illumination on something that's blooming or why a situation happened the way that it happened okay for sure why you were told to stop or why spirit was like nope you got to go in a different direction What's going to be surprising, Gemini? Next, please. Let's get one more card. We have a stop. Okay, there's something here, right? And I can't help but notice here we have the green candle, <laughs> the yellow <laughs> illumination, and then the red stop. It's like a stoplight, a traffic light. So, I don't know, Gemini. Um, there could be something where spirit's literally directing you, like, we'll give you the green when it's time Yellow means caution, red means stop. It's like, what I feel like what's going to surprise you is that you're going to stop pursuing something if you haven't already. You're going to stop investing in something, Gemini. You're going to surrender anxiety, worry, stress, an outcome. 
um, how you know the details about something it that's what it feels like I feel like something gets illuminated within maybe there's something that happens that makes you feel like you know what I know that everything is going to be okay or I know that everything is going to work out the way that it needs to um, but this is very interesting I really do feel like something's being illuminated in regards to why you had to stop something or why you do need to stop something and I feel like it's because something else is opening up for you let's go ahead and pull from the aesthetic oracle because this should be interesting so what's going to surprise Gemini next? We have chosen energy showing up, Gemini. You might be chosen for something, chosen for a position, a spot. <clears throat> so what's gonna surprise Gemini next, please, Spirit? What is going to surprise Gemini next? We have either a level up. Yup, I was about to say, it depends on what's on the bottom of the deck because this can be a level up, but this could also be somebody giving you the tea. This could be you getting the tea in regards to something as well about some kind of harvest, something coming into fruition. Maybe again, something that you've been at the crossroads about or you will be. Perhaps, look, there's even like a cross on here. Perhaps there's this energy here, Gemini, coming up where you're going to be offered something or something's going to come to light. I do feel like it involves a level up or an advancement, a step forward, and there is some kind of energy of needing to maybe pause to reflect at this crossroads, okay? So that's kind of the energy I'm getting here. And it's something in regards to a harvest, a legacy, something coming to a fruition. It's definitely around abundance for sure. So you're being asked to kind of just almost go through with your daily routine, um, I feel like if you're asking for guidance, if you're asking for answers, it's almost this energy of surrendering it and knowing that the answers are going to be available to you. Like the answers are going to show up. The answers could show up just in your everyday life one day, just when you're doing whatever, bam, there's an the answer, okay? But you are being protected too, Gemini. So what's going to surprise you, Gemini, soon is I feel like some kind of shake up in your routine. There's something in your routine that's changing here. And maybe that's why you're being call called to stop and reflect. Yeah, things are getting cleansed out right now so you can be shown the way forward, possibly to some money or opportunities that are coming in. What's going to surprise Gemini soon, please? What's going to surprise... Oh, okay. What's going to surprise Gemini soon? That was uh, the messages, the letters. Hmm, I feel like somebody does want to message you or say something to you, Gemini. Maybe they're not quite ready yet. Well, what's going to surprise Gemini soon? What's going to surprise Gemini soon, please? Okay, so we have a cleansing energy. Okay, and then we have, what about your friends? Something, something. I don't know that song. I don't know, Gemini. There could be this protective energy that's coming through in regards to your friends or surrounding connections. Maybe you're being protected from certain connections, but there could also be very protective connections that are coming towards you. There's something here that I do feel like you are cleansing out or you're removing from your life to open yourself up to opportunities. I see that very strongly. For some of you guys, maybe you do need to do some kind of saging of your house or a cleanse here, Gemini. It feels like you're every day it's like maybe you're bogged down with a lot of stuff a lot of responsibilities and you don't really have time to dedicate yourself to you know cleaning cooking spiritual cleansing right <laughs> all the things you have to do but there's something about making time for that for sure okay I'm seeing that very strongly Oops, okay yeah I do feel like there's some kind of illumination here that's happening I feel that so strongly I feel like there's something that's getting illuminated of why something was not look why something was not good for you, okay? Or why you were told to stop, why you were told to move in another direction because I feel like whatever this was, it looked like, you know, maybe it was presented like this, like the glass zipper on the pillow, like it looked pretty decent. So I don't know, Gemini. Let's go ahead and get some tarot. I feel like the the knowledge, the information, the, the clarity that comes through, it must be very shocking itself. It must be the tea that you about to get, okay? But what is this? What is this tea card? Is this a level up? I feel like it's a little bit of both. I feel like for some of you guys, this is going to be a level up, but this is also the tea coming through about a situation and why you were told to walk away. Okay, for some of you, maybe it's like you had to make a choice and this was a burdensome choice, but there were secrets or there was shadowy energy. There was some kind of illusion. There was something being masked here, Gemini. You weren't seeing something fully and you felt that, you sensed that. What is this? this tea card for Gemini and what's going to surprise them soon what is this tea card please oh 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 look at this we have the nine of Pentacles with the three of Pentacles 
yeah I really do feel like for some of you guys maybe somebody tried to coerce you into something um, offered you something it was very tempting Gemini but I do feel like you decided to go in a different direction all right I feel like you did go away from this devilish energy this doesn't necessarily mean that it was negative for some of you yes obviously it's the devil out here but I feel like for others of you it's more that energy like it wasn't in alignment with you it would have taken you off your divine path or divine purpose in some way maybe you weren't able to foresee this at the moment okay because I feel like whatever this was with the devil it is always kind of like even though it's a little like sleazy or there's something about it that feels wrong, right? It does look okay or whatever was offered is like it's money, it's ice cream, it's it's something tempting here. But it's there's something here that it's it feels wrong. And then also this volcano in the back, it's like any moment something was going to blow. So you might have avoided disaster, avoided danger, avoided something that... I feel like maybe it didn't even have anything to do with you, Gemini, but since you were caught up in this, you would have been caught up in that. That's what I'm getting. This could be a job, relationship, a family, a situation, Gemini, uh, just an opportunity is what I'm getting. Whatever it was, though, you chose to kind of separate yourself from something, separate yourself from the group, separate yourself from the family, um, stop working on this and start working on something else, something that's more in alignment with you. And you are more fruitful because of this and you will grow because of this as well. There is a level up that's coming. It's like the level up happened when you decided to go off in your own way or believe in yourself. I'm getting that so strongly and you saw it. I'm hearing, I saw the signs and it opened up my eyes. Yeah, I feel like you saw the signs. Yes, <laughs> you did. You saw the signs. You saw something, Gemini, or you felt something. Your intuition is on point, okay? Yes, your intuition is on point. But there's also new knowledge that's coming in or new communication, new clarity that's coming in in regards to this. Possibly also in regards to the path that you're moving down. Two of Cups here. There could be some kind of romantic partnership that's coming up ahead. I mean, this is a single card. So for some of you, you've been really focused on your work, focused on um, just leveling up, you know, and there could be something here that's happening that's going to bloom. Maybe you meet this person at work. You could meet this person just in your everyday life. They could be a friend, acquaintance, a business partner, um, you know, meet this person while you're out doing some kind of physical activity or I'm here in the library for some of you guys. The park is what I'm getting for some of you guys, okay? But I feel like you meet somebody and it's a, a partnership that you want to invest in. This might happen during a time where you're kind of going through it in your head or maybe they are. Okay, we have strength. Yeah, I feel like that's exactly what it was talking about for some of you guys. You had the strength to walk away from something. Maybe there was a soulmate attached to this. Maybe you had the strength to walk away from a soulmate. Now your true love's coming in, Gemini, Okay. You are manifesting something towards you, manifesting some kind of recognition, abundance, growth, advancement, leadership is what I'm getting, um, creative advancement, like your creative uh, skills are enhancing here, you're getting better at something, you're mastering something, or you're at least getting something where it's like it's manageable, it's, you can maintain something, it's very prosperous, it like runs like clockwork, that's, I don't know, take it as it resonates, that's what I'm getting. I feel like there's options here when it comes to money or whatever you want to invest yourself in. For some of you, there's definitely a level up happening with your looks, okay? Maybe you're doing something different with your hair. Maybe you're changing up your outfit, Gemini, or maybe you're going to the gym, you're working out, okay? Um, but there's definitely some kind of change when it comes to your aesthetic, your look. Um, it feels like you you are definitely blossoming and a lot of people are going to be attracted to you. You might have your your pick. It kind of feels like of opportunities. Like it's very abundant, like an abundant amount of opportunities come towards you suddenly, Gemini. And this could be very surprising because maybe it was kind of quiet or again, you had to stop. You had to kind of, and it might feel like, okay, well, I'm at the end of the road of this now. So now what? I feel like a lot of opportunities are about to open up. A lot of these opportunities are related to money too. Okay. There's something here that's coming in that's about to help you um, advance. It feels like I'm here and start a second. Look, I'm here and start a second savings account. Moving on up. <laughs> okay, from the east side to a deluxe apartment in the sky. I don't know. That's what they're singing. Okay, some of you guys are moving on up or you're going to be offered some kind of opportunity that levels you up where it's like you can maybe you're moving to a big city, Gemini, or maybe there's a big move or a big transition, a big transfer within your company. If you work for a company, Gemini. Okay, that's what I'm getting. 
it's like almost like, do I focus? What can I focus on? What do I focus on, Gemini? There's almost so many opportunities. You're going to have to choose something. You're going to have to try to keep things in balance. Some of you guys are going to have multiple forms of income coming in and you got to kind of keep it revolving or keep things in balance. For some of you, there could definitely be some masculine energy or feminine, whatever. They're representing as the king of pentacles or you are and somebody's coming towards you. But I really do feel like this king of pentacles is coming towards this nine of pentacles, but take it as it resonates. Somebody's coming towards somebody and they want to offer a commitment, Gemini. And they want to get together. They want to talk about this, see how we can bring this into the physical, make this work. Somebody might want to like move in with you or, you know, I don't, I don't know, Gemini. I, that's what I'm getting though. Somebody wants to connect with you, work with you, move in with you, commit with you. This could be very surprising to you. You'd be like, uh, I feel like suddenly you're going to have a choice. You could be the type of person, Gemini, that's like, oh gosh, right? Reading your romance novels. That's just for some of you guys, you know, wishing that somebody would just knock on your door with like, I don't know, <laughs> a FedEx package and all your hopes and dreams, right? You know, those cheesy like scenes in romance novels, right? Anyways, I feel like you know what I'm trying to say, okay? I feel like you wish somebody would like show up in some kind of like fantastical way and then somebody might, Gemini, like this might be very surprising that somebody shows up and you're like, what? This is <laughs> exactly what I've been thinking about or whatever, manifesting. You've been thinking about something but you've actually low-key been manifesting it as well. That's the thing. So it's like you've been thinking about this, they show up and then you're like, um... <laughs> It's like, I was just thinking about it, spirit. <laughs> okay, I don't know. It's some, that's kind of what I'm getting. Like something that you were just thinking about, something big. Like, oh man, I want something big. Or I want to make a big move. Or I want to have like a big transition to happen in my life. Or I want a relationship. I want, it's like something. You were sitting there talking to spirits. Well, I want, I want, I want. Spirit's like, okay. I feel like a whole bunch of stuff just comes in. Bam, bam, bam at once. <clears throat> you might have had like a lot of stuff on your vision board. I'm seeing a turtle in my mind's eye. So maybe turtles are significant, sea turtles, land turtles, but they're showing me a land turtle. So you could have like been, um, look, you can't even make it up, Gemini. You could have been like manifesting all kinds of stuff into your life. It's gonna be a tower when it all shows up at once. I am so serious. Like that's what I'm getting. Like something is about to, all your manifestations you've been working on are about to show up. It's like each one of these roses is something that's coming into bloom. And you're going to be like, what the fuck? Well, I don't know, Gemini. I'm hearing it's a raining man. Okay, but I feel like it's more like it's raining opportunities, but that's what they're playing. Okay. What is this? <laughs> what is this every day? What's going on in the everyday that's going to surprise Gemini suddenly? <clears throat> Y'all, I am so done with you. I just heard I have a will to live. <laughs> I'm so sorry, but that is what I heard. That's what's going to surprise you soon, Gemini. You got a will to live. Fuck no, okay? <laughs> I'm sorry. That is the funniest shit I have heard all day because it's true, right? I feel like suddenly something goes into balance or like maybe you've been going through some bad karma, Gemini. It happens. Like we do sometimes like... We get blocked for our own good sometimes. Maybe you had to cleanse something out, okay? This could be from a past life. This could be from your, your previous life within this life, if you know what I'm saying. Like, some of us were karmics before we were divine, right? Uh, most of us anyway. So there could be some stuff you were still working off. Um, it feels like suddenly things turn around or opportunity starts flooding in. People that you're interested in start showing up, Gemini, and suddenly it's like everything's all right. Like, I feel great. For some of you, there could be some kind of winning verdict or good news or a contract you just are in love with. You've been waiting for something like this. It just shows up like on a Tuesday. Okay? Just, just random, just at random AF. But I feel like there's this energy here with the high priestess of you felt it coming or you saw it coming. Or, Gemini, spirit kept it very secret. Like spirit shielded you from certain information. You might have felt like, especially if you're like me and you do pick a cards, you might have been trying to like look for a very specific answer within a pick a card and you're like getting the answer about something else or it's like everything but the topic you're you're asking about and it's like it's accurate but it's not what i'm fucking talking about that's because spirit has shielded you 
Spirit did not want you to see something that's about to come in or these opportunities, all these manifestations that are about to show up at once. It was like, it was definitely something that was kept secret on purpose for whatever reason, maybe because you needed to continue to fight, maybe because you need to learn a lesson, maybe because it's the organic reaction that's important to the journey for you, Gemini. Whatever it is, we're not always meant to know everything. I know we have very inquisitive minds as Geminis and we do want to know everything, but we're not always meant to know everything. Sometimes we're just meant to experience the ride, right? And not necessarily know how it's going to end, okay? We have two aces out here. It's interesting because it's really drawing me over to like these two pinnacles. It's making me feel like there are options and things that you're going to be juggling or looking over, trying to decide what you what you can invest in here, what you can invest in there, and what you completely have to just throw to the side. Because let's be real, you're only one person. Even if you got you and you'll you know your twin, right? You don't want to get yourself you know to this energy of feeling stuck. Like okay, well I have no room to move now, you know because. All I do is just invest myself in this shit constantly. That's kind of the energy that I'm getting. Or all I do is work and then I have this and then this, this, this going on. Like, you know, uh-oh. Oh, that's hot. Sorry, guys. I had to get it off of my mat. So I had to just pick up that coal. But that's the mom hands with the, also the cook hands. You know, I can pick hot stuff up like that. All right, let's go ahead and see what we got going on. What are these opportunities, these new beginnings, these aces that are coming in for Gemini? What is this? We have the lovers coming out. Gemini, I just feel like it's like your hopes, your wishes, your dreams, your desires. This is your card. For some of you, yeah, it's a soulmate and this person could be showing up very randomly in your life. We also, we already, excuse me, kind of see that. We have Taurus energy, Gemini energy out here. It could definitely be an earth sign with this king of pentacles, but take it as it resonates. I just feel like the solutions are coming, the answers to your problem. There's something about feeling very zen, feeling very connected, feeling very rested, feeling healthy and healed, feeling like you're clear and you're focused. It's like your overall day is getting better. Your every day is getting better. Your mood is shifting. It's improving. You're feeling more positive. You're feeling more focused. Maybe you were very foggy or scattered brained or, you know, like your ADHD was off the chain or something, Gemini. Okay. There was something going on there. I feel like everything is starting to feel like it's in order or you feel rested. You feel very committed to something or, very settled within something, okay? And this might be a surprise for you because maybe life has been very chaotic or it's been like feeling like on the precipice of change and not really knowing what's going to happen or maybe you had some letdowns, you lost some things, you had to walk away from things, some things walked away from you. Um, sudden changes, sudden losses, a sudden shifts is really the energy that I'm getting. And you know, you've been kind of, it's been topsy-turvy or crazy on a roller coaster ever since is almost the energy that I'm getting, but things are suddenly about to smooth out. And it's like, as it smooths out, all the answers it almost feels like comes in. So it's like, maybe you were needing some cash. Well, a new opportunity shows up. Maybe you were needing to get out of the environment you're in. Well, that road opens up for you. Now, some of this, it involves work. It feels like it does with this all this pinnacle out here. I mean, damn, right? But I feel like it's nothing like too big or something that you can't do and you'll do very well. So. It's almost like you're showing other people how to go after their dreams or tackle things, Gemini, okay? Yeah, I feel like you let go of so much, okay? Or you went through so much to almost develop yourself into this Empress energy, male or female, okay? Yeah, there could have been some kind of justice that's happening too. If somebody did you wrong, Gemini, or if an Empress was done wrong, or somebody betrayed you when you were just in this loving, giving energy, yeah. There's justice that's coming through for that person, for sure. There might be like all the confusion that you were having, the scattered brain, the lack of focus or direction, that could be happening to this person suddenly. It's like almost like a shift or a switcheroo in energy. I don't know, that's what I'm getting for some of you guys. That's gonna surprise you. I feel like for others of you, again, all these opportunities, that's how I feel like you're gonna look. Like, oh my gosh. <laughs> It's like within the span of like a couple weeks, it feels like suddenly like several things change in your life and you're like, what is going on? I feel like there could be this energy of maybe feeling a little fear over this change, Gemini, or feeling scared at all these changes that are happening at once. This death energy, maybe it's like some of these endings or some of these changes are, are really big. You know, yeah, for some of you, there's like a relocation or a, um, a move out of one a company or one career into the next or 
maybe moving out of a relationship, moving into a relationship, having a baby, you know, I don't know, it's, it's very big life changes it almost feels like. Although I don't think, <clears throat> well, I guess if you're finding out you're pregnant, that would be a surprise, but I don't think like, well, I guess, shoot, having the baby could be a surprise. Maybe you have the baby earlier, you weren't expecting to have a baby yet. So that's a surprise that happens, like it's here. Maybe you kept saying, I'm sick of being pregnant. I'm sick of being pregnant. Spirit's like, I got you. I don't know, but you're just like, but the baby room's not ready. There's something about that. I just feel like there's a lot of changes that are happening. There's something in your everyday life that shifts severely. It makes you feel more positive, more motivated, more focused. But also there's a little bit of fear about how big this is or how much you know, is on your plate or how much is in your hands. It's like, you really have to stand up and shine now, or you really have to flex some kind of skill, or you really have to walk it like you talk it, or you really got to put your fucking money where your mouth is. All them things, Gemini. Damn. Damn. Cause I feel like you've been manifesting this though. I feel like some of y'all are going to have to like literally close your jaw when, <laughs> when some of this shit comes in. Cause your jaw is going to be wide open. Like, are you fucking serious? Gemini. Be careful what you wish for, but in the best way, boo. This is like in the best way, be careful what you wish for. That's what this feels like, yeah. It's almost like there was, there was this like stop, go, stop, go, stop, go type of energy. Because you know, this is go. Yellow is go, believe it or not. Y'all don't have to stop at yellow lights. <laughs> I can't stand when somebody slams on their brakes at a yellow light. That is just so annoying, but I get it, but I just can't stand it, but anyways. But yeah, it's like, stop, go, stop, go. I feel like there's been like some kind of pause here. You're getting some kind of enlightenment though of why this was happening and where to go now or what's gonna happen next. It's like a discovery. You know this card, right? This illustration for me in this deck, it makes me feel like there's a discovery of something. Your ancestors are so satisfied and pleased with themselves too. Look at them down there cleaning themselves. <clears throat> yeah, because it levels you the fuck up, Gemini. Okay, in your masculine and feminine energy. And if this is a couple, shit, y'all are both on point. <laughs> y'all both like money and you like each other. So there you got that in common. Um, and there's something about just working very well together. This could be a business you create together or, or projects you work on together. This doesn't have to be romantic. This could definitely just be a partnership, a collab, a friendship, family, something like that. Okay, for sure. I'm asking what are you cleansing out? Well, yeah, it's a lot of negative energy, but with that nine of wands, it feels like it's valid. It's not just like you're in your head for the fun of it, Gemini. There's a lot of things that have happened. You've lost things. Things have changed. You've suffered betrayals, okay? Um, you've had the darkness playing with you and confusing you. You definitely had some stupid bitch in the background doing something to you. Like, you know, we, we hear about that all the time. So there's been a lot that you've been cleansing yourself from. I feel like... Um, but you can rest assured that something is being cleansed or purified in your life. There's a, like, you're going to, your energy is going to be feeling clear. That could be a surprise for you. It could happen just overnight. You could just wake up the next day and feel just a hundred percent better. This could also be involving health. Maybe you guys are having a lot of health issues. Some of you guys might start drinking some kind of tea. I'm getting mushroom tea for some of you, but, um, and, and I guess the kind that gets you, that's psychedelic guys, I don't Every time I bring up mushrooms, I'm just going to go ahead and solve the, the, the mystery right now because every single time I bring up mushrooms, there's somebody in the comments talking about, oh, you do mushrooms, you're so funny, da, da, da. I do not do mushrooms, nor do I want to. I don't do hallucinating and all that stuff. My mind's already cray-cray enough. I don't need to give it any help, okay? <laughs> it can take me to places I definitely don't want to go. Plus, I have this weird thing about ingesting medicines and things that I don't know. Um... <laughs> So I could get into why, but I just don't even care. If y'all know, you know, if you've been here a while, you know that story. Yes, about my past life. Okay, so anyways, but yes, <laughs> some of you, it could be some kind of like hallucinating mushroom tea or whatever, okay? But for others of you, I feel like this is a medicinal tea, something that doesn't <laughs> mess with your mind, but it helps your body or something. Some of you guys could be drinking some kind of tea. I'm getting like black something tea, okay? black something tea and then I'm also seeing orange slices and um, they're giving me cloves, cinnamon. So take it as it resonates. I feel like there's been something that's been playing on your mind, Gemini, okay? For some of you, if you're pregnant, you're scared and it's okay to be scared, but just know that you know having a baby is one of the most natural things you can do. Your body's literally built to do it, right? You'll figure out the rest on your own. You know, I mean, it's like, you got it. That's the energy I'm getting. Whatever this is that's worrying you, you got it. 
but there is something that's worrying you. I feel like you've been trying to research something, look for something. You've been going over something. Some of you guys have been going over a conversation or how something played out over and over and over and over. And it's like your ancestors are like, chill, boo. You got this, right? Your guides are in the window like, trying to let you know. There's a new like day that's on the horizon. There's a new dawn that's about to happen for you. You don't need to sit here and stress over this. Some of you guys have been having a hard time getting out of bed, feeling motivated, going out in the sun. Okay, like just doing what you need. You've been just kind of on autopilot is almost the energy that I'm getting. That's the energy that's getting cleansed out. Why is this a surprise, Spirit, for why this is getting cleansed out? For some of you, it's because it's been happening for so long. Some of you, there could have been some gossip or some slandering that happened and it made you feel bad. People say, oh, sticks and stones will break my bones. The words will never hurt me. Words do hurt. So fuck off. Okay, because <laughs> yes, they do. Um, and there could have been something that was said that really hurt your feelings, Gemini, or there was slandering that happened that embarrassed you or made you feel like some type of way. For some of you guys, there was like something that was leaked, like uh, text messages, pictures. This doesn't even have to be anything like crazy, like nudes or anything. This could be like a family thing. Like somebody texted everybody in the family something or I don't know. Somebody might have told your business and you didn't want them to or I'm kind of getting that energy. There's something there with her like playing with her hair, the body language. Y'all know how I like to read the body language. It's like it's giving like shame or they're all going to laugh at me or they all know or what am I going to do? That's kind of what it's giving me. Okay, some of y'all are looking down when you need to look up, Gemini. Look up to spirit, okay? Ask spirit what you need to do. I feel like spirit's saying stop, okay? <laughs> Collaborate and listen, <laughs> okay? There's something going on here. There's like some kind of illumination that's about to happen. All this, you're going to find the answers. But let me see. Why is this surprising to Gemini, please? It's surprising because it brings you into balance. It's like instantly, like... I feel like this happens very fast for some of you guys. Whatever these opportunities are that are coming in, it's like the lack of opportunity is what was keeping you trapped. Or maybe there was a lot of choices. A choice could be made for you in the way of another choice coming in. I know that sounds confusing, but that's kind of what I'm getting. Like the choice, maybe you didn't know, and then another choice opens up and you're like, okay, well now I definitely know because that's what I want. That's what I'm getting for some of you guys too. There could be something that comes in at the nick of time also. Like you're really stressing, you have a deadline here or something. You need to understand your angels, your ancestors, your spirit guides, they got your back because this is my spirit guide card. Yeah, there's something here where you've been also alchemizing this. Like you have been manifesting this. There's some kind of healing that's happening too, but a hope. I also get that with the star, like hope is being restored within you. So why it's surprising, Gemini, with the temperance energy, this is Sagittarian energy, maybe because of how fast it happens. Again, that's kind of the energy I'm getting. Some of you are going to be feeling very intuitively led in just a completely new direction, Gemini, and it is going to surprise you by how it's almost like the intensity you feel, the pull that you feel inside to go after something or to dedicate yourself to something or to make this big change. It's, it's scary almost. It's like you have, it is something about, you know, you know, look, the ancestors all ready to go. You have to make some kind of big move here. And we see the choice that's involved and we see you, you know, fretting over it, Gemini, but you're going to feel very connected or aligned with whatever this is. So that is like, if you're wondering like, okay, well, is this right for me when it comes in? It's going to feel very right. Okay. All right. Let's get some additional messages slash advice for you for what's going to surprise Gemini soon. We have a new romantic cycle begins. I did see a little soulmate in here somewhere. It wasn't the main focus of the reading, but we did see a soulmate in here. So there could be that with the new romantic cycle. I also feel like that's a new cycle of something opening up in your life that you're going to love. It doesn't necessarily, ha does not necessarily have to be a romantic partner, but you're going to love whatever you're doing. Okay. Just take it as it resonates though. What's going to surprise Gemini or just additional messages slash advice, please, for this reading. Please and thank you. Look, believe in the impossible. You are very close to achieving your goal, Gemini. Because I do, again, as I've said a million times in this reading, you were waiting or there was a pause or a stop or a delay or just fighting through something for so long. It's going to be so shocking when it, you finally get what you want or something happens the way that you need it to happen. We have be bold and make the first move. So when whatever this is, 
it's gonna feel like a prime opportunity to jump on this six of swords and kind of ride up out of this uh choppy waters that we see here it's almost like spirit wants you to go after it spirit wants you to believe in yourself yeah step out of your comfort zone don't let your past hold you back don't let pride get in the way adjustments are required so there could be sacrifices that need to be made there could be the energy of just change it feels like and with any change there's sacrifices there's shifts you know like maybe if you do move cross country or something like that, maybe you have to get rid of some things or you have to shift some things up, change some things, sacrifice some of your favorite local hangouts and your friends and things like that, Gemini. That's just an example, but you know, it could be the same thing with the job. You're, you might be sacrificing a certain schedule, um, sacrificing some things that you like. It's like suddenly you're going to see things in your life that you really do kind of enjoy and that you'll miss. And maybe that's what causes this anxiety of like, am I making the right choice? Because if I'm missing something, then maybe I'm not meant to walk away from it. Or if I feel bad about leaving it, maybe I'm not meant to, but it's like you've outgrown something, you know? Yeah. You're going to feel this reminiscent energy or nostalgia, but you know, you're meant to be something greater or do something greater. Gemini is almost the energy I'm getting. Let's get one more, I think. Yeah, hold your vision. So don't ever give up, right? Show the world the real you. It's like, don't stop. <laughs> Again, don't stop believing. That's what they keep giving me, okay? So just hold on to that feeling, Gemini. All right, guys, that has been your reading. I do hope it helps. I hope it resonates. I hope it does something. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye.